Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about use of persist service and DB integration. What is persist service and juice? Persistence provider service use this to manage the overall startup and stop of the persistence modules. Start starts the underlying persistence engine and makes juice persist ready for use. For instance, with JPA, it creates an entity manager factory and may open connection pools. This method must be called by your code prior to using any juice persist or JPA artifact. If already started, calling this method does nothing. If already stopped, it also does nothing. Stop stops the underlying persistence engine. For instance, with JPA, it closes the entity manager factory. If already stopped, calling this method does nothing. If not yet started, it also does nothing. What is an entity manager? Interface used to interact with the persistence context. An entity manager instance is associated with the persistence context. A persistence context is a set of entity instances in which for any persistent entity identity there is a unique entity instance. Within the persistence context, the entity instances and their life cycle are managed. The entity manager API is used to create and remove persistent entity instances, to find entities by their primary key, and to query over entities. The set of entities that can be managed by a given entity manager instance is defined by a persistence unit. A persistence unit defines the set of all classes that are related or grouped by the application, and which must be collocated in their mapping to a single database. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see it's working or not. Let's go through all the URL. See, everything is working fine. Let's the search for the Hibernate Entity Manager Maven dependency. Instead of picking the latest one, I am going to look for 4.3.6. Copy and paste it in Palm XML file. Now search for the MySQL Connector Maven dependency. Copy and paste it in Palm XML file. And yes we need one more dependency. Let's search for Juice Persist Maven dependency. Copy and paste it in Palm XML file. Let's add a new folder called Meta INF. Under that. We will create an XML file called persistence.xml. Now search for the persistence XML Hibernate example. Look for the correct format. Copy this one and paste in the newly created file. And copy and paste persistence unit code also. Change name to DB Manager and transaction type to resource local. Add provider tag also so copy from the example. Now need to add class, but before adding let's create a new package for modal. Add a new class called user. Add three simple fields like id username, and password. Add standard annotations which are required to convert the model into a table.
That's it. Now add this modal and persistence XML. Now let's add hibernate related properties like driver class, URL, username, password, pool size, dialect, and HBM2DDL. Now let's add some logic in service implementations class. So now inside authenticate method let's write a query to validate username and password. Let's see how the entity manager helps to execute this query, it's quite simple. See that's it for this method. Now let's modify juice listener class. So instead of returning directly we can hold this an injector object and create injector method we can pass the JPA persist module as an object. And there we can pass TB manager. Get instance to expect a value called type. Let's create one inner class called JPA initializer. This inner class is a type for get instance method. Now in JPA initializer class create a constructor and add a parameter called persist service. Now persist service need to start and inject this constructor. Now let's create a database. Let's run and see it's working or not. C server started. E2 tables created. One for hibernate sequence and one is user. Let's add one record in the user table. Let's check it's working or not. See it's working. Let's add some system out so come to know that is working or not. Let's run again. Service started. See the message is printing now, means it's working fine. Now let's create a new method to save the value in the user table. Now just watch whatever I am doing to save data in the table.
See it's very easy, let's run and see save is working or not. Service started. The request is not processing because forgot to add REST related annotations in the controller class, let's add. Let's run again. Authenticate is working. If username and password is invalid it's giving exception. No data is available in DB. This exception is coming we already added one record manually. Let's try again. See this time it's working fine, add some more. See it's working. Now let's add one more method to find the list of user. Let's add required changes. That's it for this method, let's run and see if it's working or not. Add one link for the user list. List method is calling but nothing is printing, because I forgot to return user list JSON object. Let's run again. See it's working fine, test all the service in one shot. The new record is not coming forgot to add transactional. Let's run again. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added.
Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.